I don't think I've ever seen that in my career before, Alex, for a guy to uh, intentionally kick someone uh, in an area that none of us want to be kicked at or towards and uh, uh, for him to continue to play. I honestly don't remember the play. Allegedly. There were, do you remember the play where he got thrown out at the end of the game? Um, yes. <laughs> <laughs> you know, the, the whole game, you could see what they were doing. You know, I was just trying to get a rise out of me. I'm too mature uh, to put myself in a position where I'm going to get ejected. Unacceptable flagrant too. Like the first time I've been ejected, I'm not labeled as a dirty player. And I mean, I didn't hit him in a private area. Um, or somebody draped on you like that defensively. It's just a natural bas basketball reaction. And I didn't, hit, I, don't, I didn't hit him enough, hard enough for him to fall down like that. Honestly, I don't even think it was a foul on me, but um, yeah, that's unacceptable. That, that can't happen. Wow, what do you think? He's 100% correct. If they didn't kick Joel out, they shouldn't have kicked him out. Uh, uh, I, I, I don't know what the hell going on, to be honest with you. Uh, I just, I had a problem. Uh, I did, I have a problem. You, you, try to, you try to kick a guy, and then you accidentally, because I don't think he intentionally hit that dude, but you have a guy try to kick a guy. Come on, man. I, I have a problem with this, with this. I mean that's 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 a dirty play right there, Ernie. And then to, and and if you're gonna let Joel stay in the game, you can't kick James out for something that's that simple. Can he weigh in? Well, I, I think the two incidents are individual. I don't think they 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 weren't connected. They aren't connected. And there has to be some rule that dictates below the belt or above the head. I know there's one below the above the head of the neck that is an automatic uh, flagrant two uh, but I'm not sure about the second one so it had to be something that, to that effect you sure about the first one <clears throat> about jo uh, Joel yeah I, I thought that was a flagrant one flagrant one yes which is so you agreed with the you agreed with the call on my the first floor. my first reaction was flagrant one I mean it looked based off again if Claxton don't step over him Joel's not that type of player, but he reacted, he kicked it. I thought it was flagrant, too. I thought he should have been ejected. The second one is what's known as incidental contact. Every guard in the game now uses that offhand to try to gain a, a better position. And James Harden been doing that for years, trying to draw contact, and he accidentally, incidentally hit the man above his private parts. But I don't think he should have been thrown out. You know, Ernie, the one thing that as a player, you just want consistency. That's and, and there's no way, there's no way if you got any common sense, you can look at that one play and look at that other play. Because Joel, what he did was way worse than what James did. Yeah, and I, you know, I think the league's antenna are up in this week, especially in, with the intensity of playoff basketball and with what happened with the Draymond Green situation. I think the officials' antenna are up. They're looking really closely at a lot of this stuff and if and if that play the Harden play is as common as you make it seem or if that incidental contact happens a lot I mean what happens Friday or Saturday if a similar play happens and now you set this precedent and you say hey James Harden got kicked out of the game yeah. for that same thing I don't I mean it's uh, it's gonna be interesting to watch this watch this thing play out but uh, tonight Philadelphia taking a three nothing lead over Brooklyn 102 to 97 is your final score game